Hello, my name is Faith Price. I'm an elementary school art teacher. I work at Roy Williams Elementary School in Habit of Grace. Today I'd like to talk about the integration of SEL competencies in the elementary school art classroom. Wow, the last year or so has been challenging. We're all living through a pandemic, coping with things like quarantine. Critical resources are being stretched. People are dying, still dying. And yet our freedom, our very essence of being American and being able to go outside and do what you want and wear what you want is shrinking. While all of this is happening, many of us are moving inward and really taking the time to reflect and to dwell in our thoughts and our imaginations. And perhaps those are some places we haven't really had a chance to visit in our busy, hectic daily lives. So why don't you take a second and think about how did you cope with quarantine? When you were stuck inside, weren't able to go out and socialize with some limited freedoms, what did you do to cope? That lets us think about what do people do for comfort, to relieve stress, to cope. I know during quarantine, I listen to a lot of music. Music really has the power to affect, affect my moods. Some happy, cheerful music can make me feel better. Some sad music can, you know, get me in my feelings. It's really, really a powerful thing. I definitely binge watch some Netflix, you know, some Tiger King and some really <laughs> Interesting shows I probably wouldn't have watched otherwise, but the cinematic arts, they really have a power to like transport you and take you away from your daily life. I know a lot of people got into TikTok. Um, my, TikTok is huge in my household. I have two teenagers. I actually was learning one of the dances and um, I'm not very good at it. In fact, I've probably already forgotten it. That stuff is complicated. But you can see here in this picture, this dad doing it with his kids. It's a lot of fun. And you know, it was something to do during quarantine and getting up and moving, that helps really relieve stress and helps us all cope. A lot of people got into crafting. I know some of my uh, Facebook friends were painting furniture and making wreaths and doing some really cool things to use the things that they had around them to um, and give them something to do. One of my Facebook friends got into this diamond painting thing. I don't think I have the patience for it, but man, she made some really fun stuff during that time. And language arts reading, man, that is so important to a lot of people. I know it helps me to relieve stress. I love just getting into a book, getting into characters, and just visualizing what the author's trying to explain. It just really, really helps me cope with stress. And making art, just doing little sketches, doodling here and there, that helps a lot of people relieve stress. This one here particularly is about feeling overwhelmed, and I think making the artwork probably made the person feel a little bit better. So yeah, it turns out that in times of crisis, we turn to the arts for comfort. There are some really beautiful things that came from the time of quarantine all around the world. Here's just a few examples. Here's an example of an orchestra playing together. Obviously they're on quarantine and they're in their own homes and technology, like they had to figure out the technology to figure out how to line everything up and beautiful, beautiful things happened. All over the world, we had to figure out how to do things differently and really solve problems creatively. Over here um, in the bottom right, you'll see some balconies in Italy. And um, when people were in quarantine, they came out onto their balconies and they sang together and played instruments together. Just beautiful, beautiful things. There were a lot of things that people were doing like chalking your walk and hanging rainbows and windows and ways to show people your support and your solidarity and just to remind everybody that we're all in this together. There was lots of art made about everyday heroes like first responders in relationship to the pandemic. And don't forget, it was about a year or so ago, we had some pretty important social uprisings and a lot of artwork and collective expression came from that. And this, here's a young lady, she is an ice skater, but she is roller skating on top of a Black Lives Matter 
mural on a street in DC. Beautiful, beautiful things. So if we turn to the arts in times of crisis, that means that the arts and schools are more important than ever. This is a time of crisis. We need the arts to help us get through it. Our students need the arts to help us get through it. One way that we can do support our students is through arts learning, because arts learning develops social emotional competency. Here's a statement from the Network of Fine Arts Supervisors of Maryland Public Schools. Due to the impact of COVID-19 and the uprisings across our country, we anticipate social emotional learning to emerge as a priority for Maryland public schools to meet the needs of students, staff, and communities. SEL is the process through which students and adults manage emotions, set and achieve positive goals, feel and show empathy for others, establish and maintain positive relationships, and make responsible decisions. Arts learning develops SEL competencies. So what are social emotional competencies? Well, the Collaborative for Academic Social and Emotional Learning, CASEL, has identified five, one, two, three, four, five competencies or components of what social and emotional wellness is. There is self-awareness, self-management, responsible decision-making, relationship skills, and social awareness. This is all part of social and emotional wellness. Well, the arts and social emotional learning, they go together like peanut butter and jelly. They're better together. Arts makes social emotional learning better and social emotional learning makes the arts better. They're better together. Let's take a closer look at some of these alignments that we can have in our classroom. Self-management, one of those competencies, is defined as the ability to regulate one's emotions, thoughts, and behaviors effectively in different situations. This includes managing stress, controlling impulses, motivating oneself, and setting and working towards achieving personal and academic goals. Here is self-management broken down into those categories or those components, impulse control, stress management, self-discipline, self-motivation, goal setting, and organizational skills. Here are the Maryland State Fine Arts Standards. They line up directly with those components. Let me demonstrate. Impulse control aligns with anchored standard three, refine and complete artistic work. Stress management aligns with anchor standard number one, generate and conceptualize artistic ideas and work. I'm gonna jump down a little bit. Self-motivation, anchor standard four, select and analyze and interpret artistic work for presentation. For the sake of time, I'm gonna keep going. Organizational skills, anchor standard number two, organize and develop artistic ideas and work. It literally says organize. Organizational skills and organize. They are directly aligned. It's beautiful. Peanut butter and jelly. These two are better together. I could talk about this all day. The alignment. And I'm just so passionate about how important this is. How important it is for our students who are disadvantaged, who are diverse, who are at risk. How important it is for all of our students to have social emotional wellness and it fits in beautifully in the elementary school art room. If you catch even just an ounce of my enthusiasm, then the next hour will be worth it. We're gonna focus on three of the competencies and how they can be integrated into elementary school art room and why. The first competency we're gonna focus on is self-management. Second, we're gonna talk about self-awareness. 
and third, social awareness. All right, I'll see you in the next part of the module. Thanks, guys.